His name is Gary Myers. To date, he has beaten 17 players. If he beats his current opponent, his winnings in cash and prizes will pass the $100,000 mark. In a moment, we'll find out whether he makes it or not. As from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's the new Tic Tac Show. And now, here's our host, Sweet Martindale. Thank you, Jay. Welcome to the new Tic-Tac-Toe, and let's meet our opponent, of course, for the uh, current champion. He'll be out second, but first, this guy is phenomenal as a Tic-Tac-Toe player. Let's meet him first. Here he is. Jay Week is our current champion, whose winnings total to date in cash and prizes, $97,950. He's a law student. Meet Gary Myers. And his opponent has been a deputy sheriff, and is now working as a deputy district attorney. Meet Terry Kilbride. Well, Gary, you've answered an awful lot of questions correctly. I bet you know how many uh, questions you've answered incorrectly. And it hasn't been very many. Do you know how many? I can remember four, and I can remember them all very vividly. Well, I won't ask you to count them all down, but I will remind you, as if you need to be reminded, that you have won thus far $97,950 in cash and prizes, and we wish you and your lovely wife well on this edition of Tic-Tac-Toe. And, of course, Terry is our deputy sheriff, former deputy sheriff, now district attorney. You're an assistant DA in the city of Los Angeles, Terry? No, I'm a deputy district attorney in the county of Ventura. County of Ventura, right next door to LA. That's right, right. just up the coast. Well, Terry, uh, you're awfully close to winning, but yet so far. And to find out and sort of bring everybody up to date as to where we are, first, let's take a look at the categories that both of you were dealing with on the last show. Here they were. The categories are magazines, anatomy, movies of the 70s, names the same, military leaders, potluck pictures, sex symbols, dropouts, and Canada. When the game was interrupted on the last show, this is what the board looked like as far as X's and O's are concerned. Three X's and two O's on the board. Gary and Terry, of course, are in their second game. And in the pot, we now have $2,800. We have on the board, as you see, four boxes remaining. Gary, you'll be selecting first, so let's shuffle and see what subjects are coming up for you to select from. They are Canada, anatomy, sex symbols, and military leaders over there on the left. Gary, what's it going to be? I think if Debbie will forgive me, let's try sex symbols. Sex symbols. Obviously, you're going for a win, Gary. And if you answer this question, it'll be worth, in cash, $3,000. Added to your prior winnings, that would take your total to $100,950. Gary, here's the question. The 1932 comedy, No Man of Her Own, teamed film beauty Carol Lombard with her then future husband, one of Hollywood's most famous sex symbols. Now, for a total of $100,950, name him. I know Debbie will forgive me. Clark Gable. Right! For Tic Tac Joe. Gary, I think you'll uh, be in full accord on this, full agreement, that this is not the kind of thing that happens to you every day of the week. No. So with that in mind, I'd like to say, how do you feel at this point? I've asked you that before in your quest of hitting the $100,000 mark. Any different kinds of feelings that you have right now? Well, you know, Debbie and I were talking last night, and I, I was telling her there's a verse in the Bible that my mother always used to tell me that I remember that says that unto him to whom much is given shall much be required. And I guess as I go on, I've thought more and more about how much, uh, how much of an obligation we're going to have to do something worthwhile and important. Uh, having, been, uh, having been as fortunate as we've been, I, uh, it just still seems unreal. And I know we're, we're always going to be grateful to all of the people here and uh, uh, to everyone for making that possible. Very well said. And uh, you got to remember this, too, that uh, it's not over yet. Mm. You're up mm -hmm. to $100,950, but 
that was almost a goodbye speech, and I had very well said, and I like what you said, but you, of course, had the opportunity in a moment to try to defeat the dragon, as you have done so many times in the past on Tic-Tac-Toe. Terry Kilbride, tough couple of games, and, of course, you came out on the losing end. However, uh, thank you for playing a couple of good games with us on the show. We have a couple of very nice parting gifts for you, Terry, and thank you for playing Tic-Tac-Toe. Thank you. He's a very good opponent. Thank you so much. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll see if Gary and his wife can beat the dragon. Gary Collins, and this is Work Programs. www.sony.com gets you in on the games. Every time Gary defeats five opponents, he and his wife win a new car. They have won three of those so far, and if they defeat two more opponents, what well, you tell them, Jay? He'll have a fourth brand new car! A Buick Skyhawk with a compact, even firing V6 engine for smooth economical power. Overall sporty styling and comfort, the Skyhawk! All right, Debbie and Gary, four cars. Now, wouldn't that be tappy? Four cars. Come on over, let's try to be dragon. Welcome back over here, Gary. Debbie, step up here just a wee bit. You know, behind the numbers of various amounts of money in a dragon, you're trying to reach $1,000 or more to win these prizes. Tell us what they are, Jay. Gary, it's Tic Tac Toe's bedroom package. First, light up your bedroom with this lovely lamp collection from Fazel, the cameo collection. The glass is hand-blown and hand-decorated, designed in the tradition of American craftsmen, all furnished by Fazel Lighting. Next, beautify your bedroom while saving space with this trunk. Made of pine with reinforced handles and metal corners, a perfect cocktail table and storage unit from Sugar Hill Furniture Corporation. And you'll have sweet dreams on the Dreammaker mattress from Bassett. Gives just the right combination of firm support and soothing softness to make every day a bright new day. Dreammaker from Bassett. And finally, Gary, to go with the Dreammaker mattress, it's a beautiful bedroom set. Free Spirit by Facet Bedroom Suite, featuring the triple dresser with twin mirrors, four-door chest, panel headboard with hot nightstands and lighted bridge in a stirper white finish. And Gary, this beautiful bedroom package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,600. So another nice sum of money and prizes to add to your collection. Let's cover everything up on the board. Stay away from the dragon or you lose everything. Get the tick and the tack, you automatically get the dough. You know all of that. I don't even need to tell you. I don't know why I go through that. Debbie, ladies first. Number four. Number four on the board. All right, number four. What do we find behind number four? Let's take a look. Good for $250. I was about to get ahead of the game here. Didn't have anything covered up. All right, we need $750 more. dollars. Gary, let's try nine. Number nine, bottom right-hand corner of the board as they try to continue to add to their winnings on tic-tac-toe. What's behind number nine? Here it comes. Tick. Add that to the tack and you got to win. All right. You need the tack or $750. Debbie? Gary says seven. Number seven. All right. Down there, hold over that $250. let us see if we can find some money over there. $250 plus. What's behind number seven? The dragon. That's only happened to you one other time in playing the game. Hasn't it? Is that right? Only the second time. I wanted that bedroom set. <laughs> you wanted the bedroom set? Well, maybe we can shoot him out. Boom! No, he's not going to go away. He's just sitting there winking at us. Wow, well, you've been lucky so far. Let's look at the rest of the board. All you needed was the tack to go with the tick. Where was it? Up there in the top center. Number two would have been the tack. However, that's not going to hurt you too bad because you have passed the century mark. And again, you're winning so far in cash and prizes. Gary and Debbie, $100,950. Debbie, I know you got a cold. We'll let you go sit down for a moment. Bask in her unhappiness. I'll congratulate you, though, because you are doing extremely well as our champion, and you're ready to play again, are you? Would you please take your position, and we'll meet a new opponent. All right, Jay, who's it going to be? Coming out now with the clinical analyst, who has also been a chemist. Meet General Weinstein. Oh, Debbie. May I occasionally call you Debbie? I'm sure I'll get into that. I prefer Deborah, if you don't mind. I prefer Winston, if you don't <laughs> mind. Deborah, what yeah. does a... <laughs> what... <laughs> that is my real name. People ask me all the time. It's very boring. <laughs> what does a clinical analyst do? Analyze clinics or what? No, I analyze the results of medical research. That sounds like pretty serious work. Uh, what do you do for fun, Deborah? Well, recently I went to dinner at Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion. 
<laughs> a clinical analyst having dinner at Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion. What did you do there, may I ask? I ate dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you ask a question like I ask, and you get an answer like she gave me. Very good, Deborah. Right, very, very good. All right, why don't we see what a clinical analyst does on Tic-Tac-Toe? Here are the subjects. Take a look. The board says News 78, Scary Things, Broadway Shows, World Literature, Disney, Foreign Words, Bills and Billies, Famous Couples, and Finish the List. Gary? Let's start in the upper left with News 78. News 1978. Here's your question, Gary. In February 1978, the Interior Department announced that the bird that has served as our national symbol since 1782 was being declared an endangered species. Name the bird. The bald eagle. Right. Good for a first X on the board. 200 and five. Let's shuffle them around and it's going to be your turn to select. What's going to be your first pick? I'll take the center box, Bills and Billies. Bills and Billies for $300. Deborah, a popular 1978 film told the story of Billy Hayes' escape from prison in a Middle Eastern country. First, I want you to name the movie and then name the country in which he was imprisoned. Here's some time to think about that. Story of Billy Hayes' imprisonment. First, name the movie, Deborah. I believe it was Midnight Express. That's right. Now, name the country in which Billy Hayes was imprisoned. Was it Turkey? Yes, for the center box. Let's so put it over there. Three hundred dollars to box and shuffle. Move them around. Five hundred dollars to box. Gary, back to you. Let's try World Lit in the lower left. World literature it is. Here's your question. Gary, a classic novel by Kate Douglas Wiggin tells the story of a 10-year-old girl who goes to live with her two aunts. Now, according to the title of the novel, to which farm did she go? Sunnybrook Farm. Yes, that's right. Sunnybrook Farm, good for that. Let's shuffle them again. 200 added to the pot. Gets us a total now of $700. And Deborah, where would you like to move next? I'll take famous couples to block. All right, for a block. Famous couples. According to Roman mythology, the city of Rome was founded by twin brothers. One of them was named Romulus for a block named the brother. Remus. Right, Remus and Romulus. So we put an old ass to a block. We're going to take a commercial break as we add $200 to the pot. We'll be right back. Closely. Can you tell the difference between these two contact lenses? They're the same prescription, the same brand. 3131 now. And we have an excellent match going between Gary Myers and Deborah Weinstein as Deborah tries to beat Gary and become our new champion. In the pot, $900. Let's shuffle the categories around. We move them all around on the board and back to you, Gary. Not my favorite. Let's try Disney. All right, you're going block. for a block with Disney. Question. Actor Guy Williams starred as a daring masked Spanish swordsman in this 1950s Walt Disney television series, Gary. For a block, give me the one-word name of this swashbuckler. Zorro. Yes, for a block. Zorro. With a big Z. Put a big X on the board for a block. All right, we have four blocks remaining on the board, and let's shuffle them around and see what subjects come up for Deborah. Broadway shows, world lit, scary things, and again, Disney, Deborah. I'll take scary things. Scary Things, the category, and here's the question, Deborah. Writer Mary Shelley was inspired by both her poet husband and Lord Byron to write this classic horror story. Her chilling tale concerned a young doctor who creates a monster without a soul. Name the story. Is that Frankenstein? Yes, that is Frankenstein. Put it over there. $200 to the prop. Three boxes remain on the board. Let's see what comes up for Gary as we shuffle and add $200 to the pot, taking it to $1,300. Gary. Looks like News 78 to block. For a block, News 78. Gary, answer this, you'll block Deborah. In January 1978, this labor leader and his United Farm Workers Union ended their national boycott against lettuce, table grapes, and wine. For a block, name the labor leader. Cesar Chavez. Right. <laughs> California, Cesar Chavez, good for a block. Put an X there. Two boxes remain on the board, and then there were two. Let's shuffle and see what comes up for you, Deborah. The subjects are foreign words and scary things. I'll take the upper right foreign words. You are for a going block. for a block. Answer this, Deborah, and we will have a block and a tie game. Take a look at this foreign word. To the ancient Romans, this word was relative. For a block and a tie, what does this word mean? Father. Yes, we have a tie game. Oh. 
So we have a tie between these two excellent players. I had a feeling when Deborah walked out here, Gary, she was serious about all this. No. All right, what we're going to do, of course, is start with nine new categories. The pot will continue to grow at $1,700 for your second game. Here are your subjects. Take a look. The United Nations, men in sports, who am I? Female achievers, spirit of 76, famous movies, sleuths, mythology, and physics. There they are, Gary. Champion goes first. Let's try spirit of 76 in the middle. In the center box for $300 to the pot. Gary, according to legend, the old North Church signaled the route the British would take to Concord. First, name the city in which the church is located, and then tell me the prearranged signal. Here's some extra time. <laughs> Gary, name the city in which the old North Church is located. Boston. Right. Tell me the prearranged signal. One if by land, two if by sea. Right for the center box for the next bear. $300 added to the pot takes it to exactly $2,000. let us shuffle. Who do categories around? Deborah, your first choice in your second game. I'll take famous movies. Famous movies, okay. Your question, Deborah. Take a look at this picture first, then I'll ask the question. This scene aptly illustrates the title of a famous Oscar-winning film classic. Name it. <sighs> Bridge Over the River Kwai? Yes, that's right. Bridge Over the River Kwai. A little trouble with that one, huh? But an O there, you got it in in time. Let's move the categories around. $2,200 in the pot, Gary. Let's try Who Am I on the right center. Who Am I? Gary, I'm a British-born actor. They think of me as being jaunty and suave. In terms of my movies, I've had my night and day, my holiday, and have even been involved in bringing up baby. And I guess you could call me Mr. Lucky. Who Am I? David Niven? No, Cary Grant. Ooh. That was my best Cary Grant, too. I don't do it any better than that. All right, let's move the categories around. Still 1X10 on the board, $2,200 in the pot. And Deborah, what's your choice? I'll take physics in the lower left. Physics, the subject. This is the question. A rocket ship traveling through space at a speed of 186,000 miles per second will have gone this distance in a year. What is the scientific term for this distance? One light year. Yes, one light year. Another O goes on the board, and we take another quick shuffle. $200 goes into the clock. Gary. Got me on the run. Looks like Sluice the block. For a block. Gary, this fictional English detective made his mark by solving such cases as the sign of the four and a study in Scarlet. For a block, name him. Sherlock Holmes. Right. Created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Sherlock Holmes. Good for a block. Put an X there and let's shuffle the categories in the pot now. $2,600. Deborah? I'll take Who Am I to block. For a block, Who Am I? Deborah, I believe that if you can't communicate in bed, you probably can't communicate in marriage. This is not an idle observation. My wife, Virginia, and I have pioneered in sex research for about 20 years. We've written two bestsellers, and our work is known by both our names. For a block, Who Am I? Or name my wife. Oh... Oh, it's the height? No. Yeah, William Masters and Virginia Johnson. Masters and Johnson. Let's shuffle the categories again. You've each lost one question so far. $2,600 in the pot. Gary. Let's try the UN to win. The United Nations in that same spot. You have a chance to win now, Gary. The correct answer to this will give you $2,800 in cash added to your prior winnings. Your total would then go up to $103,750. Gary. There's only one body of the UN in which all the members of the United Nations are represented. For a total of $103,750, name it. The General Assembly. Right, for Tic-Tac-Toe. Well, well, well. Gary, I had a feeling about, oh, a minute ago, that your time just might have come on this show, and you know the time I'm talking about. We had exactly the same feeling. Didn't you get the feeling, really, that in playing Deborah, this might very well be your last game? Oh, that is one tough competitor. Yeah, that was. You've met some, some tough ones, at least three or four that yeah. I can remember. Not by name, but I can remember. 
but uh, Deborah is one of the toughest. Gary, you are now up to $103,750 in cash and prizes. Again, congratulations Thank to you. you and to your lovely wife, Deborah. Or uh, Deb, is it Debbie? Yeah, either one. I, this Debbie out here, this is Deborah up here. Deborah, I thought you had him there on that uh, question of, uh, I think Man, it dealt with uh, sex, did it not? <laughs> I think so. I blanked. I knew that. I'm going to regret Masters it at home. Susan Johnson. <laughs> Deborah, we have a couple of nice parting gifts for Thank you. you. Thank you for being with us and a couple of good games of tic tac toe. Bye bye. We'll be back right after these words. for an hour of The Price is Right, followed by Game World and Super Decades. Gary, I hate to bring you these bad tidings. However, on the next show, of course, first thing we're going to do is play the bonus game. I was kidding about the bad tidings, obviously. If uh, you defeat your next opponent, you will then win your fourth automobile because that opponent will be your 20th victory. We'll be back to see if he can continue his winning ways on Tic-Tac-Toe next time. Please be with us. Bye-bye. All Marty Party contestants will receive the home game version of the new Tic-Tac-Toe. This is much fun playing it and watching it on TV. In addition, some Marty Party contestants will receive Diet Park Game from Kraft. as half the calories of regular margarine and a fresh delicate taste. It's America's best-selling diet spread. And a healthy supply of Rexall Super Plenamins, the multivitamin and multimineral supplement fortified with iron. Pick your Super Plenamins because your body is only human. Plus QT Sun. Suntan lotion by Coppertone gets you browner faster than it ever did before. With the sun or on its own, tan faster with QT. And do it yourself or paint the easy way. Use plastic coat, push button, aerosol spray for your home shop, car, wood, garden equipment, and hobbies. Plus Sherman Williams Kim House Paint. Great coverage, great protection, great colors, long lasting Kim House Paint. And the exciting new fragrance Le Sport by Cody. Vital, fresh, and alive. Le Sport, Le Fragrance, Le Style. It's the new way to play.